Welcome to Kaizen Debate Number Seventeen: Fashion and Fitting In. Should you change the way you dress because of what other people might think? Should you wear what you want, or should you wear what others think you should wear? What do you think? Before we begin our discussion, let's learn a few of the words you will hear throughout the debate. Conference. Conference is a noun, which means a meeting. Conform. Conform is a verb, which means to try to fit into accepted standards. Shallow. Shallow is an adjective, which means lacking depth or superficial. And now back to our debate. Should you change the way you dress because of what other people might think? Your parents have been complaining about the way you dress. They say you can express yourself, but that maybe you should tone it down. Spiky hair is all right, but not all the time. As for the nose ring, they can live with it, but not at your grandmother's birthday party. You're sick of all these fashion rules, and tell your parents that how you dress is no one's business but yours. You have to be yourself. A month later. Parent-teacher conferences roll around. You've been doing well this semester, so you're not sweating it. But when you catch your parents heading off to the meetings, you can't believe your eyes. Your mother is wearing a red miniskirt and an enormous blonde wig. Your father is wearing a gross Hawaiian shirt and torn shorts. You're furious. You say that you'll be the laughing stock of school. They tell you they're just being themselves. What do you say now? Should you change the way you dress because of what other people might think? Let's hear the affirmative position. The yes. It's a fact. People judge you by what you wear. Sometimes that's wrong. But if you're meeting someone who doesn't know you, they don't always have much to go on. You may be a great person, but if you're wearing a shirt with a skull on it, someone might find that frightening. You don't always have to conform, but sometimes it's best to dress according to the situation. Let's hear the negative position, the no. You should always be yourself. It is as simple as that. If people are shallow enough to judge you by the clothes you wear, that's their problem, not yours. Anyway, if your family and friends really love you, they'll get over the stuff that might scare them at first. Probably half the stuff kids do seems strange to grandparents, but most of the time they manage to love their grandkids anyway. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Consider both sides. What's your view on this debate? Think about the other side now and defend it.